Welcome to Textonation. We're with Luke Autry, product manager with Western Digital. Thanks for joining us, Luke. Hi, Fred. Thanks for having us. Well, what is it that you have in your hand here? Today, we're really excited to announce the release of My Passport SSD. This is WD's first portable solid state drive, um, and you know it's it's really quite great. It leverages the the, the um, Leverages a trusted brand of My Passport, which is obviously known worldwide for for its uh, external hard drive solutions. And today uh, we're shipping Passport SSD. It's roughly four times faster than the average Passport. Available in capacities 256, 512, and one terabyte capacity, uh, and one terabyte in your fingertips at 515 megabytes a second performance. Very cool. So, is it aimed at a specific type of usage or consumer? Yeah, I mean, the external and portable SSD uh, space right now is still in the emerging phase. Uh, people that are t uh, buying this product today are really early adopters and tech enthusiasts, people that want the benefit of high speed um, portable storage. Um, so, we're, we're marketing it towards people that we call tech enthusiasts, people that maybe want to run virtual machines off, off the disk. Uh, myself, I'm a Mac user, but uh, my Mac only has 512 gigabytes of space. I run Windows on my device, but I want Windows to have 500 gigabytes of space. And the only way for me to do that on my Mac is to run it off a fast external solution like my Passport SSD. Now, step us through the, the different configurations in this form factor. Yeah. You're saying it goes up to a terabyte. Yep. And it plugs in using a USB-C cable? Yeah, that's right. So uh, it's USB 3.1 Gen 2, right? That gives us a speed greater than 450 megabytes a second. Uh, it's USB Type-C on the, on the device and ships with a USB C to C cable, but we also include a C to A adapter so that you can use it on traditional USB A um, computers. What are the advantages to moving to an SSD over your traditional My Passport drives? Well, we still sell traditional My Passport drives, right? The advantage, obviously, is that it's more compact, uh, faster, uh, and more robust, right? More, more durable. This has got a six and a half foot drop uh, test and 1500 Gs of force, unlike hard drives that you know, won't necessarily survive such a drop. That said, you know, you're getting this at a premium price relative to an external disk, where an external hard drive might actually sell one terabyte for around about 70 US dollars. A one terabyte solid state drive is going to set you back roughly $400. So this is about 400 for that. Where does pricing start? for this line? Uh, pricing starts at $100 for the 256 gigabyte capacity, um, and then we double it to $200 for the 512 gigabyte capacity, and then 400 for the one terabyte. Where can people find these? So today people can find these at bestbuy.com in the US. Uh, globally, we're launching it in other partners outside of Best Buy, and so if you're in Germany, for example, we expect that you'll be able to get this at people like Amazon and MSH in Germany as well. Does Western Digital anticipate more of the market moving to solid state drives? Yeah, absolutely. You know, last year WD um, took the step of actually acquiring, you know, flash, uh, flash manufacturer SanDisk uh, as part of the anticipation of people moving from uh, hard drive based storage to solid state drive storage. Uh, it is still in the early stages of the market. Um, but yeah, over time, you know, people, people have been telling us that they just need faster, higher capacity storage. So there's certainly a need for it today, and the average user over time will be, you know, getting the benefits of external solid state disks versus hard drives. For more info about this, where can people go? Yeah, people can log, log on to our website at WD.com. Right now it's on the front homepage, um, but you can find it on WD.com. Again, it's the new Western Digital My Passport SSD. Luke Autry, thanks for taking the time with us. Thanks, Fred, for having us.